The city of Boston stands at the mouths of the Charles and Mystic Rivers at the east coast of the United States of America. Situated on the banks of Massachusetts Bay, Boston features a fine natural harbor. Boston is a city that's been shaped by the sea, but it's her people who have helped shape the history of the USA. Since its inception in 1630, Boston has remained at the epicenter of American political, social, and cultural life. Every street corner, it seems, is a reminder of Boston's role in the American Revolution. Boston is a compact and highly livable city. There are numerous options to explore Boston, but the best way to discover the city is by foot. It's nicknamed the Walking City for good reason. The Freedom Trail is a self-guided walking tour that's easy to pick up wherever you see the distinctive red markings on the sidewalk. The two and a half mile long trail weaves its way past 16 historic sites that were instrumental in America's march to independence. The trail officially starts in Boston Common, the oldest city park in America, and the centerpiece to a string of parks and gardens affectionately known as Boston's Emerald Necklace. Highlights of the trail include the State House with its gleaming gold dome and the Granary Burying Ground, the final resting place of Samuel Adams, Paul Revere, and many of Boston's bravest sons and daughters. Faneuil Hall, often referred to as the Cradle of Liberty, was the stage from which Samuel Adams and James Otis fanned the winds of revolution. And just behind are the Quincy and Faneuil Hall markets, two of Boston's most popular places to eat and hang out. Stop by the 17th century home of Paul Revere, the patriot immortalized for his famous all-night ride to Lexington, warning that the British were coming. Walking across the Charles River brings Freedom Trail walkers to the Bunker Hill Monument, where the newly formed Colonial Army first stood up to the Redcoats in the American War of Independence. The trail concludes at one of the most beloved ships in the United States, the USS Constitution. Launched in 1797, Old Ironsides is the world's oldest commissioned naval vessel afloat. Everywhere along the waterfronts of Boston, we are reminded of the city's maritime connections. This is a city with salt in its blood. The harbor is also the place to jump aboard the many scenic and whale watch cruises on offer, or to sample the fruits of the sea. Boston seafood is so fresh, you'd swear it almost leapt onto your plate. Once you've explored the Freedom Trail, it's time to simply follow your nose. This is a great city to get lost in. Beacon Hill, with its gaslit streets and federal-style row houses, is one of Boston's most beautiful neighborhoods. In Child Street, it's easy to lose a few hours in the antique shops hunting down the perfect souvenir of old Boston. Newbury Street and neighboring Back Bay is one of America's great shopping avenues, featuring everything from exclusive emporiums to sidewalk stalls. Back Bay also offers plenty of places to chill out and reflect, like Copley Square. Or you could even join a service in Trinity Church, listed as one of the 10 most significant buildings in the United States. To get even closer to the heavens, and for the best views of Boston, Take the elevator to the Skywalk Observatory in the nearby Prudential Tower. Boston is a city that owes much to its immigrants who came here filled with hopes, dreams, and traditions. These cultures have become part of Boston's fabric, from the culinary delights of Little Italy to the Irish pubs which quench the thirst of this hard work and city. Bostonians like to play hard, and in this sports-crazy town, there's no greater hallowed turf than Fenway Park, home to the Boston Red Sox for 100 years. Culture rates highly in Boston, too. The Museum of Fine Arts, with its fabulous Impressionist collection, houses the largest displays of Monet's outside of France. Boston, however, 
isn't a city that rests on past glories. There are over 50 colleges and universities within the greater Boston area. With prestigious institutions like Harvard and MIT continuing to produce presidents and Nobel laureates, Boston has blossomed into a city that not only shapes America, but the entire world.